everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. To start the video, I'll do my thankful challenge that was um, put out by Kimberly, I mean Kimber, I always want to say Kimberly, Kimber Keto Life, and by Simple Life Reclaimed, and I was tagged by the Arkansas Woodcutter Mark. And I'm going to tag in this Vicki Marie Living Life. That's who I'm tagging today. And my thankful thing is, it was funny because I said to Jim, I told him what, my, what I was going to be thankful for. And I said... And you expect me to remember your thankfulness? I told you. I told him so I wouldn't have to keep it in my brain to remember. And he goes, he didn't remember. And I says, you don't listen when I talk then, apparently. Well, I remembered then... And so my, what I'm thankful for is I'm thankful for pooper scoopers. And the reason I'm thankful for that is Mr. Brown likes to poop on the desk. He poops on the floor. And it's, it's a dryish kind of poop that he's doing that I can push onto the... It's the kitty scooper is what it is from the pooping... From taking the kitty litter out of... Or kitty poop out of the kitty litter. It's that scoop. So I'm thankful for that pooper scooper. And then I use a little dustpan that belongs to one of the kids' little broom and dustpan sets. It's the little dustpan. So I use that. I scoop it onto that and then I dump it. So that's what I'm thankful for. Isn't that great? We have mm -hmm. pooper scoopers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also was watching um, Dean, Dancing Critter Acres. He's the one that did my, my sign. Well, he was building a chicken, uh, an, an enclosed chicken run. He was making it bigger. And he was trying to think of what he could possibly put around it. He was thinking tarps to protect it from the wind and the weather. And I said in my comment to him that if I remembered, I will put a little bit of that in. I'll put a video in of that. But first of all, I wanted to show him. This is the, I printed it out. It's... This is what the screen looks like the, when it's in the picture. And it's from Premier, Premier One. One. It's Premier Ultra, 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 Ultra screen. screen. And it comes in different colors. We got it in green. I don't know what colors it comes in now. I believe it's tan, green, and black. But I found this in the sheep or the lamb department, that part. And I all I did was type in, I think, um, a screen. If you type in ultra, 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 a, it's U-L-T-R-A, ultra, I can't say that <laughs> word, ultra screen in Premier One, you will find it. And it will give you the different prices depending on what you purchase as to how much it costs. So let's There's go. There's different widths and then you buy it by length. Yes. And we, we love it. Now let's go to the video and I can show you. Just watching Dean and he said that he was going to try to enclose his chicken run that he has, that he's, in, that he's building right now. And I told him that I had plexiglass on part of my coop. This is plexiglass. And this is plexiglass over here. And up here, of course, around there, which lets the light in. Also, I wanted to tell him or show him. I said I would show him. What it looks like. This is what it looks like on the outside. And as you can see, it's green. And it's just around the chicken house. We'll go inside, and I'll show you what it's like on the inside. Okay, we're inside now, and as you can see, we can still see outside. This stops the wind, pretty much a lot of the wind, and it keeps the snow out. And see, we can see out. So the hens can see out, and um, you just can't see in very good. A lot of people use this on their carports to block the breeze when they're sitting in their carport. Pretty Boy is telling us it's time for snack.
Pamela from Pamela's Adoring Crochet asked me how Emma was doing. Emma's doing very good. This is Emma. And she's getting herself a drink. I can tell Emma because Emma's feathers in the back are always really messy looking. They got that way the first time that she was, she got broody, went broody. Look how big she is. She's a very big girl. We'll follow Emma for just a little bit. Emma keeps walking away. Oh, she runs away. And there's the rest of them. Pretty boy's getting his tail feathers again. Little lady. Whoa. Dorothy, what'd you do that for? Hmm? What'd you chase her for? I had also showed you Emma because Pamela from Pamela's Adoring Crochet wanted to see Emma. She had asked, how is Emma? Emma's doing very good. She's such a fluffy, sweet bird. And so I showed you Emma, and I don't know if you saw, I think you might have seen some of the other birds. I'm not sure, because I had to take it twice, <laughs> because Emma kept running away, and it was really hard to get her. When I've, They seem to know when I have that camera, I'm focusing on whichever one I'm focusing on, and they move away. Otherwise, they just kind of stand there. When I go out there by myself without the camera, they just kind of, they, they usually come closer to me. But when I have the camera, it's like they know I'm going to be taking their picture and they don't want to be in it. So that is the video of today. I hope you all had a great day and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.